Hello, everybody. I am super, super excited to uh, actually, this is my first time meeting uh, Lena uh, virtually, and I'm super excited to meet Lena in person on April 11th uh, for Epic WebConf. And Lena, I'd love it if you could introduce yourself to uh, the folks watching so that they get to know you a little bit before the conference. Yeah, sure. Well, hello, my name is Dina, and I'm a software engineer currently working at Bell and uh, So when I'm not working, I usually play video games, um, work on side projects that I post on Twitter, or I, I also enjoy playing tennis and soccer with my friends. By the way, I used to be a professional baller player, but I just decided to take a break this year since I have a lot of things going on, um, like building really exciting projects using Remix and uh, attending conferences. Wow. Hey, you've done quite a bit. <laughs> that is cool. A professional, did you say a professional soccer player? No, Valorant or... player. It's a video game. Oh, it's oh, a, oh, okay. It's a game, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Interesting. I So I actually am not familiar with that uh, video game. Is that the primary game that you play or do you play all kinds? Um, I mainly play FPS games and like FIFA and other like uh, story games as well. So hmm. I, I just, now I just play for fun. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, that's fun. Yeah, I uh, uh, only recently got back into video games. I was really big in as a teenager and then uh, started playing a little bit more when uh, Tears of the Kingdom was coming out. And I said, yeah, I kind of would like to get back into Legend of Zelda stuff. Um, and so I replayed Ocarina of Time on the Switch. And that was, uh, that was a throwback. And then uh, played Breath of the Wild and then uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, so I, I'm definitely a Legend of Zelda, and that's as far as my video games go these days. Um, but uh, yeah, that's cool. That's uh, fun that you... Uh, that Actually, uh, as I have been perusing your uh, uh, social media and, and stuff to get to know you a little bit before this call, uh, it's very much a part of your personality and who you are and what you enjoy doing. So that's that's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so with... Uh, you said you're doing a lot of stuff with Remix. What exactly are you using Remix for? Well, I'm using Remix for built-in full-stack applications. Um, I usually, I used to work in a fintech um, environment, like in a fintech company, like so it was a banking, um, it was a banking company, you know, at a bank. Um, so I was using Remix uh, for, for making full-stack application. Um, building really interesting products for uh, for Intel and purposes. Hmm. Cool. And and now, um, are for your full time work, are you still using Remix, or is it just no, for the side I, stuff? I just I just got a new job offer, so I'm, I'm just switching like as a new job, and I'm gonna be using Vue and not Remix because it's really hard to get like <laughs> jobs where you're gonna be using Remix. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, my my in my previous job, I was using Remix just because I had the chance to choose whatever stack I, I, would, I would love to like to use. So that's why mm. I had to choose Remix because uh, I really love it. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, and your talk is going to be about Remix. Um, you're yes. uh, going to be giving some tips of things that developers might not know. Can you give us a little preview of what you're planning on talking about? Yeah, so I'm going to be like uh, doing a weird story about how I found out like about Remix. So I thought about Remix two years ago. I was scrolling down YouTube and I found, found out uh, Fireship, the YouTuber, talking about Remix. So I found out that it was really interesting. So I wanted to learn more about it. And I had um, I had to go and uh, read the documentation. I was really flabbergasted by the amount of information I had to know from the documentation. I wanted to know more about it, but I didn't find a lot of resources, a lot of tutorials. So I found Egghead Trading, I guess. It's Egghead, mm -hmm. right? Yes. yes. And uh, I, I had to subscribe and um, just learn about Remix. And that's where I found a lot of interesting things about it and how to build full stack application, how it's following with standards. And it's really incredible, like the things I've been building from, from like one year and a half now. <laughs> So uh -huh. that's why I've decided to to like make um, a session about Remix is because while I was like uh, making projects and side projects and posted them on X Twitter, um, I found a lot of uh, misunderstanding about like really uh, misunderstanding about uh, things like that we use in Remix. So uh, that's why I have decided to to do this talk. So it's gonna be about uh, 
it's gonna be a beginner to intermediate to expert level. Mm -hmm. um, so it's gonna be like about uh, how to utilize route loaders, actions, auto revalidation, uh, format uh, forms, how to how to make forms, etc. Um, yeah, that data loading, caching, SEO optimization, etc. So I'm just gonna be um, like giving tips and sharing some real life uh, projects that I've been, and that's all. Awesome. Well, good. I'm looking forward to seeing your talk and and uh, the examples that you share and and stuff. I, I think Remix has definitely reached that uh, point where. Um, the, the team can't manage making sure everybody understands um, how things were intended to be used and people are abusing things and, you know, it, basically Remix is hitting the real world. A and so it's very helpful to have people come in and say, here are some common mistakes that people are making and, and things that you can do to improve your Remix apps. Um, very cool. So while we're at the conference, the um, the like we, we actually spend a lot of time uh, not in the talks. So we have uh, extended breaks so that people will be able to talk with uh, the speakers and with each other and things. And so I'm sure there are uh, people who are going to want to come and meet you and uh, chat with you. So what are some of the things that you would love to chat with people about? Well, first of all, you just talked about like the conference. Um, I want to say something that I really believe in is that um, I want to share how valuable meetups and conferences can be because my mm. first two job I got there from attending two conferences. The first one was a Google developer uh, conference and I landed my first job because I was a speaker there, even though it didn't went great, but I, I got a lot of job offers after it. So it's really important if you're like trying to um, network with other people, meet other, uh, other talented speakers. So that's really great. And I'm um, really looking forward to be there. Mm -hmm. I 100% agree with you. I also got a job based on a relationship that I made when I was at a conference. Um, mine was uh, React Rally. I think the first year they held React Rally. And I met um, who someone who was uh, would be my uh, coworker at PayPal uh, while I was at that conference and uh, started a relationship there. And then we uh, kept in touch on Twitter. Um, and uh, yeah, then I ended up getting a job at PayPal through that relationship. So I am super, super agree that uh, speaking at conferences and, and attending conferences is very useful. That, that actually, that was, I was just an attendee at that conference. I wasn't even speaking. So even just being an attendee and being active and talking with other people at the event uh, can make a really big impact on your career. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, so is there any topic that you're uh, hoping uh, to talk with other attendees uh, at the conference then? Yeah, probably, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if the, all the speakers are going to be talking about Remix, but I'm kind of looking forward to talk about other topics as well, like uh, everything related to front-end development, AI as well. I'm really, I'm really passionate about AI, so mm -hmm. I would love to meet other attendees or other speakers that are going to be talking about this, so yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, we are going to have some um, AI representation there for sure, because uh, that is that's the future. <laughs> that's like yes. or or the present <laughs> even. Like that is an important part of uh, our aspect of what it's like to develop um, a software in this day. So exciting stuff. Uh, have you ever been to uh, Utah before? I've never been to the United States before. Ooh, this, like, this will be a first. first time. Fun fact, oh, uh, fun fact, I've never known that uh, my background image like on my Mac was uh, was in Utah. I just oh, found really? out this week. <laughs> I know it was oh. in the US, so I was like, okay, that's great. <laughs> huh. Oh, awesome. Yeah, uh, well, Park City is beautiful. Um, and uh, we have, we're gonna be at the base of some beautiful mountains and there will probably be snow on top of the mountains. It'll just look amazing. So yeah, um, really, look, yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to having you there. Uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I hope that other folks will uh, come and get to know you and uh, that we can uh, build lasting relationships. So. Thank you so much, Lena, uh, for you, taking some time to chat with me today. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all on April 11th in Park City at Epic Web Conf. See Goodbye, ya. everyone. Goodbye.